at the end of the day, most emissions are coming from the private sector. So although governments make the agreement, the private sector needs to stand up and to speak up in order to make those uh, reductions really reality. My message to almost all business leaders across the world is addressing climate change is our responsibility. Make your emissions transparent, report about it, set targets and work clearly, maybe together with others, to reduce the emissions. The technologies are partly there, the solutions are partly there, we can work together of implementing that. It's our responsibility, it's doable. Let's do it together. The first one is around green energy. So of course, the big massive investment in green energy, but also the investment in the grid to support uh, this influx of green energy. The second one is around governments acting as a, as a good citizen by in their own procurement by asking companies to adhere to the net zero 2050 targets. The third one is around carbon capture. Even if you decarbonize everything, there's still going to be a certain amount of CO2 that will be emitted by the earth. And so we will need a carbon capture technologies, some of them being through biomass like forest, etc but some of it will have to be technological at a very, very large scale. Our mission, the collective emissions of the Alliance is close to the size of US, but we already collectively have reduced 10% of those emissions. And then at the same time, it's about embracing that it's not only about we, each of us can do within our companies, but the traction that we can drive through the value chain, by the scope, through the scope three, to drive change and to make that momentum and to make that impact even bolder, even bigger. So I, I believe the, the Alliance has shifted its objectives over the last uh, some five years. Uh, it used to be about commitment, understanding and committing to Paris. Now it's really about actions. It's about rolling up the sleeves and it's about sharing dilemmas, but also solutions with each other. Last year we invested a sem seven trillion US dollars went into subsidiaries for fossil-based solutions. That needs to stop. Then it's about creating the regulation that embraces the solutions of the future and does not create unnecessary roadblocks that hinder the penetration of those solutions. Why does it take seven years to get the permit to create a windmill? Why does it take seven years to uh, register a microbe to replace pesticides? I think people have gotten jaded that we can really make the change that we need to make. You know, emissions are still slightly, but still going up when they need to be substantially going down. And to change that, we need the physical infrastructure of a new energy system, a new transmission system, of a new industrial system, of a whole set of uh, physical investments that are needed to start to turn the tide. But the process of getting there can be so painful and so slow. And so I think if government could really step up to that challenge, then the world could see that we can do this, that we can put the infrastructure in. It can work economically for citizens, for businesses, for communities. Um, and, uh, and that will give everybody more confidence to go further faster. Grazie per averci seguito, ci vediamo presto!